So, apparently, the weather's going to be good tonight, and we're going to be able to see the stars. I hope so. Starting off the check with the main event, the camera bodies and lenses. I'm using a Nikon D750 full frame body. Great for Astro and a general workhorse of a camera. At the moment it's got the 2470 lens on there. Uh, I'm just going to swap that out for the one, the main one I'm going to use for the day. Uh, the main lens for the shoot will be the Samyang 14mm f2.8. Uh, completely manual lens, uh, absolutely outstanding. Okay, I always put the lenses on before getting to location as it can be quite dark out there usually. Okay, uh, always check that my cards are in there, uh, in the camera, and make sure they're cleared down as well. And also make sure that you've got a fully charged battery in the camera as well. Okay, the backup camera, this is a Nikon D3200, uh, I'll use it, use it as a backup or to run a star trail. Okay, uh, I'll change the lens on this one to a Sigma 10 to 20 mil f4.0, uh, this is one of the first lenses I ever used for astrophotography. I make sure the tripod plates are attached as well. Spare batteries are always in the bag. If the opportunity arises to shoot with a different lens, I usually take a 2870 f2.8 and a little Sigma 28mm for different options and, and any backup. Always carry uh, spare memory cards as well, just to be on the safe side. Okay, for light painting, I'll take a few things. Uh, these are the AD200 lights, uh, usually used for portraits and, and the like and location, but absolutely awesome for light painting as well. Uh, the best bit about them is they also have a modeling lamp if you just want to do some low level light painting. It's always best to check the battery on these before you take them out and, and make sure that they actually are working 8K okay, remote triggers. I'll use these with the D3200 and sometimes with the D750. Uh, the D750's got an internal intervalometer anyway, but actually having a, something in your hand which you can use without touching the camera is always a bonus. Uh, I've got this one here which uh, is pretty cool and I've also got a wireless one which I'm just giving a quick test. Uh, it turned out that it's actually really really good uh, working with ball mode. Uh, rather than having to press and lock, you just press the button, let it go, and then press it when you want to finish as well. Absolutely great. Flashlights with the zoom, so you can have a wide or narrow field of light. Uh, absolutely great for light painting and seeing where you're going. Uh, I have had a bit of a play with a couple of these and uh, put a child's toy on the end of this one. and. 
it just gives a really really nice beam of light and it's a very interesting tool to use Okay, and here's the rest of the light painting tools I use, a mix of kids toys and homemade tools just for different effects. And now we get on to the wire wall spinning kit, uh, basically a whisk uh, with a carabiner attached to a piece of chain uh, to keep it secure. This is EL wire, uh, really cool effects, looks interesting, good for um, a, a, an ethereal look. I do have these in multiple different colours as well for different effects and different different tasks. And last but not least, the tripods. Uh, this is a, this is a large sturdy tripod. Uh, if you want to do a panorama, it's got the degrees on there as well, so you can use that. And this is a little Joby one, which can bring things close to the floor or put in awkward places. Uh, also, a head torch, always useful. This is pretty much everything that I use. So I just took everything out there just to show you guys what I take with me. Generally it's already in a bag, already by the door or already in the car. So this is the first video going out on this channel. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, give us a follow, give us a subscribe. Uh, there's going to be more about light painting, there's going to be more about uh, portrait shoots, there's going to be more about any type of shooting really. Uh, as I learn, I'd, I'd like to put it up here just so you can learn as well. Okay.